Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today we're going to talk about the Louis Vuitton pochette accessoires. Now listen, they've just issued a brand new one. It's on the Louis Vuitton website. I was shook when I saw it. And they're discontinuing this one. Yes, our historic pochette accessoires is no more. Let that sink in. It's no more. Thank God I bought this one I did because it's... So anyway, all the details right after this. First, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. So predictable spell together. Four extra perks. Um, I live stream several times a week. And so come join the live chats. I have my co-chatters here with me right now. Y'all, uh, thumb up the live stream, thumb up the video, subscribe, and let's get straight to it. Now, I bought this one just about a couple of months ago. Oh my gosh, not even a year ago. No, I did buy it a year ago. When did I buy this? Oh my God, I can't even remember when I bought this. Huh, November of last year, maybe? So maybe it's around about a year old now. Gee, time flies. I love it to bits, I use it every day by the way. So I'm super happy that I bought it. Now, I see on the Louis Vuitton website that uh, they have a new version of the pochette accessoires. Now, just to show you what the pochette accessoires was up until now, canvas, also available in Damier Azur, but I got the monogram canvas, canvas on both sides. It has this little leather strap, which you can detach. You can detach this leather strap and just use this as a little wallet or something, as a big wallet. But I love the strap. Uh, and uh, inside it has the canvas. Not the canvas, the car. See how much I use it? We be using it. Let me just de-dust de it. Okay. There's a... Oh my gosh. Uh... Girl, geet. Okay. Interior clean. Now, it has this cottony, uh, like a cotton canvasy material, and it has an interior pocket. Also, in that kind of woven cotton, but I don't know if it's cotton, probably cotton synthetic mix. That's how it looks like on the inside. Super simple. There you have it. That's the interior. Now they've changed it. They've added down here the same little uh, D ring like here. They added one down here as well. And they added a little chain. An ugly ass chain to hang down from it in addition to the strap that it already has. On the inside, they've maintained this cottony material. They've added a zipper pocket here, and I think it still has the flat, the flat pocket as well. Minimal changes. The size of it is still allegedly the same. Oh, and everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not really interest effects. Everything's alleged and just my opinion. But let me prove my point to you by showing you these screenshots from the Louis Vuitton website. We're gonna get to the price and everything. Here goes. So, um, we'll go, we'll go, you guys. So if we compare the two, you can see that it's the same size. We got the three, one, two, three Louis Vuitton logos. You have the three here as well. And then you got the two in length and here you got also the two. So it's the same size, but they're giving you this extra golden chain. So two, you got this golden little bit attached here, like there. And then the second one is attached right next to it. And then you got that little chain hanging. Well, I find it so tacky. Um, but, uh, but anyway, and then on this side, they took it off here. You see it's dangling free. So it's basically this little bit hanging off like that. And underneath it right here, 
you see right there is that other D ring. That D ring, which is for this chain to attach to it. So let me show you the next picture. I, I think they just made the bag uglier just for the sake of making it cost more or for tacky nouveau riche people who think that more bling is better. But this is so, this looks fake to me. This is how ugly this is. Five Foot Nothing says don't like it. Holly says, I'm so sick of Louis Vuitton obsessed with that ugly ass Zara chain. I know, I don't know why they're so obsessed. It's so ugly. I completely agree with you. It's really, really ugly. Really, like, plus touching that metal all the time with your hands and sweating on it, it's gonna start smelling like metal, it's gonna oxidize, it's terrible. I like me a nice little leather holder. I love this bag so much, you guys. I use it so much. And I'm so sad that they're discontinuing it because I was thinking of maybe getting a second one or getting the Damier Azur, but no. Now let me show you the next one. You see, this is the interior. Now they've added this little tag. They don't want to tell us where this one was made. We're going to get to all the product details, by the way. Stay throughout this entire video. You're going to get to see all the product details. Uh, but uh, the, the tag was here originally. See, right down here. There you go. The Louis Vuitton. Mine is made in France. I'm super happy about that. This one can be made in Spain, Italy, France, and the USA. Now the interior, you see it still has that cotton, cottony material just like I have here as well. The color looks a little bit bleached as opposed to mine. It's all about the lighting. It's the same interior color, by the way. Don't get fooled by the lighting in this room and this picture, which maybe Louis Vuitton retouched. This is from the Louis Vuitton website, by the way. All the pictures are directly from the Louis website. But as you can see, they've added this extra zipped pocket inside. So useless. Takes up so much space. And apparently, on the other side, on this wall, you still have... this flat pocket, it's still there, okay? And um, is this zipper broken here already? Why does it look like there's a zip missing right there, like a tooth missing right there? Maybe it's a Photoshop issue, but it looks like a, a little tooth is missing. Um, so let me show you the next picture and we're gonna get to the deets. Uh, zoom in. What can we zoom in? Yeah, we can zoom in. And I don't know. Let me see. No, we don't need to zoom it in because it doesn't say where it's made. It doesn't say. They do this on purpose. Oh, let, let me zoom in this to see if there's a tooth missing. Yeah, I can't come close to the TV because I'll cover it up. Uh, oh my gosh, it's there. Okay, so... Uh, What's that, Louis? No, maybe it's just a color. Why would only this one not be reflecting light, though? Eh, something is off. Either they, either there was a hole and they added half of a tooth, or this one is not refracting light, or they by accident took off a part of it through Photoshop. It's messed up either way. Anyway, okay, moving on to the next picture. Cha. The ratchetness of it all. A brand new bag. Louis, I would have thought if you're introducing to us a brand new bag that you would have maybe taken a bit more care <laughs> for your Photoshop. I don't know. Uh, anyway, we'll go, we'll go. Here's a little close-up of the side. So we got that D-ring, which is the same as this one. It hasn't changed. We got the floral pattern right there, which is exactly in the same position. Again, nothing has changed. The zipper here looks correct. They've retouched it properly here, I guess. Uh, and then there's that interior zipper pocket, which if I position my bag the same way as that one is positioned, you know what I mean? Like this. Then in here, 
you have my slide-in pocket. So they've taken the slide-in pocket away from this side and they put the zipper pocket instead, but they've kept the slide-in pocket on this side, I presume, because they talk about two slide-in pockets. So let's see what they mean. Maybe by two slide-in pockets they mean there's the main compartment and then there's the zipper pocket. So that's kind of like two compartments. Maybe that's what they mean. In which case, if they did that, that would mean that they didn't do anything really new. They just added a zipper, which is super clunky and it's gonna scratch up whatever you have in that bag. And that metal chain, which is ridiculous. But let me check the next picture. Yeah, there's a ton of pictures missing. I need all the texts. Um, okay, so this is when you take the chains off. So you got that, and then you got this, which is from the old one, from the OG. And then you got that extra little D-ring hanging right there, which would be hanging right down here for the metal chain. All right, so next picture. So here is all of them together. Uh, for variety, I took a screenshot from the French website because you can buy the new pochette accessoires on the, on the French website already in Europe. It's not available in America yet. 1,300 euro. Now, you can still buy the original pochette accessoires, but it's the heritage version, meaning you have to get it stamped with your initials, yada yada and you can choose the interior lining color like what color you want inside and for that choice of color inside and for the stamp they charge you a thousand four hundred for the still they have it available the classic one but the new one without this option is a thousand three hundred I got mine for around nine hundred now we're like three to four hundred euro more and here we have for comparison, just to show you how much they upped the prices because they added one chain, here's the mini pochette accessoires. The mini pochette accessoires with one chain, the classic one. And then they made the new one, mini pochette accessoires chain. Ya gots to be kidding me. They just added a second chain in addition to the first one. Ridiculous. Still not fully detachable. Look at that almost a hundred euro more, which is like a hundred dollars more. For that one slinky little ugly ass chain, they're charging a hundred dollars uh, more. So now I have prepared more pictures. Why aren't they there? Maybe they're in another folder. Why aren't they there? I literally prepared and sent all of them. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, down, 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 there. There they are. Pictures are right over there. So anyway, I can read to you then the information. Um, the product details. The One of Louis Vuitton's emblematic styles, the pochette accessoires in monogram canvas is ideal for carrying everyday essentials. This chic pouch offers different looks and carry options thanks to its removable strap in natural leather and removable gold toned chain. Its secure zip closure opens to reveal a spacious compartment with zipped and flat pockets and two card slots. They really upped their game, didn't they? <laughs> so there's two card slots in the new one as well, plus the two extra compartments. The length is uh, on the French website in Senamita, 23.5 times 13.5 times 4, same size as this one. The features, monogram coated canvas. This is as per the Louis Vuitton website. Oh, why is it really? Okay, I'm trying to, there you go. It's all, I'm reading right, I took a screenshot from their website. Uh, textile lining, natural cowhide leather trim, gold color hardware, zip closure, large compartment, inside zipped pocket, two inside flat pockets, two card slots, strap, removable, not adjustable, strap drop 25 centimeters, chain removable, chain drop 25 centimeters. 
And then they say, this reference is either made in France, Spain, Italy, or the US. Then uh, Louis Vuitton has a separate little feature, which is sustainability. So I clicked on sustainability because I was curious. I'm like, what, what are they telling us about the sustainability of this product? Now, under the sustainability, they don't really mention the plastic. They only talk about the leather. And this is what they say under the sustainability clause of this bag. The leather used in this product comes from a tannery audited and certified by the leather working group LWG. Now the leather working group can be anything. It can be you and me starting a company and calling us the exquisite leather controllers. And then we could also open up our own leather company manufacturing bags. And then we could also say, we are partnered with the exquisite leather controllers and we are certified by them. You see what I mean? Anybody can say something like this, but anyway. And they say that the LWG is the highest environmental standard in terms of leather tanning. This standard requires tanneries to reduce their water and energy consumption, as well as their use of potentially hazardous substances. The tanneries we work with are located in Europe and are committed partners who work with us in our efforts for responsible sourcing and continuous improvement, implementation of material traceability systems, fighting against deforestation practices. Now, this one is orderable online in Europe, not yet orderable online in the United States. It's not available as of now, but it probably is going to become available soon. Now, I, greenwashing is a thing. We'll go, we'll go. I don't know how much of this is like fancy talk about sustainability because it's fashionable to talk about sustainability or how much they really mean it. This, I do not know. We give them the benefit of the doubt, though. And then product care. You open up the product care clause. And uh, interesting what they say about the product care. To keep your monogram canvas product beautiful as the years pass, we recommend following these guidelines for its care. One, beware not to scratch or rub your product against abrasive surfaces, especially the leather trim. The leather trim is super delicate. Two, keep your product away from damp or humid environments and avoid direct exposure to sunlight. Keep your product away from any direct source of heat, radiators, car interiors, overheated by the sun, etc. In other words, don't, don't wear it in the sun. Don't, don't wear it outside. <laughs> Three, avoid contact with greasy substances cosmetics, perfume, and hydroalcoholic solutions, as well as any material, magazines, other leathers, etc., that may transfer their colored pigments onto the product. In other, way, in other words, don't wear it. Don't wear it. Don't put perfume on when you're wearing it. Don't put creams on when you're wearing it. Dry up while you're wearing it. Don't use any makeup while you're wearing it. Don't read Vogue magazine while you're wearing it because Vogue magazine might stick. Um, chad, don't touch it with other leathers. So don't wear gloves uh, if you're wear, I mean, it's insane. Like, it's insane. They, you know what? I have the feeling they write all this stuff just to protect themselves. So in case you do come back with a defect product, they're going to tell you, yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> you know, in the middle of winter, you wore gloves while you were wearing the bag and then the color of the gloves transferred onto the bag, your fault. Keep your product away from water. Should it get wet or dirty on the surface, dry with a lint-free, light-colored, absorbent cloth. Never use soap or solvent. If your lining gets dirty or in case of superficial stains, we recommend that you wipe it with a soft and light-colored cloth. In order to protect your product when you are not using it, store it in the felt protective pouch provided. Natural cowhide leather tip. The trimmings are in natural cowhide leather. 
The skin is finished through a vegetable or through a vegetal tanning process. Some natural marks or genuine irregularities in the leather may show through. Over time, this delicate leather, which is sensitive to scratches, will acquire a beautiful patina. Except it won't acquire a beautiful patina if you don't take it into the sun. And you're telling us not to take it into the sun. You're also telling us not to use it if we have perfume or creams or whatever. Your own sweat, your own essential oils, they're also going to patina the leather. Now you're telling us it's going to patina beautifully with time. But you also told us the things not to do that actually help it patina. What's it going to be, Louis? Taking proper care of your Louis Vuitton product will allow you to fully appreciate its beauty for many years. For any inquiries or inquiries about your product, please do not hesitate to contact any Louis Vuitton store. I did contact a Louis Vuitton store and I was asking them about what happens with the glazing in case it gets scratched or damaged because in the past, they used to fix that. They would glaze it up for you, no problems. Now they said they don't do it anymore. I'm like, oh, great. Service getting worse? Good to know. Price is going up though, good to know. What do you guys think? Is this a bag you wanna get? Oh yes, the price in dollars. So now this um, bag, is 1,300 euro in America. Are you ready for the dollar price and the marked up price that Louis Vuitton charges in the States? 1,520 dollars plus tax. It's gonna take you up to 1,600 something, right? Round about 1,650, 1,700 dollars. Um, a bit of a difference. $1,520 plus tax. Let me repeat that. $1,520 plus tax. Thumb up this video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and let me know, will you be purchasing this new version of the Pochette Accessoires or are you going to spend all your resources and time trying to hunt down one of the last classic pochette accessoires ever produced before they're gone for good. News have it that this one is being discontinued and this one is going to become the new permanent pochette accessoires. They've just added some stuff, in my humble opinion, to make it cost even more, to detach themselves even more from the entry-level price customers. They don't want to give entry-level price customers a Louis Vuitton bag. They don't want to give you a Louis Vuitton bag for, for an entry-level price. Entry-level price, they're going to give you a munchkin or a card holder. That's the snobbery of it all. That's the snobbery of it all. That's the snobbery of it all. Oh, Love DIY says, for the original, right now the price online is $1,290. And the new price is going to be 1520 Three. So what? $250 more. They're charging you $250 more. $250 more for that golden chain that nobody wants and that internal zipper pocket that really nobody needs in such a tiny bag. The zip pocket, first of all, that zip pocket right there, it's going to damage and dent the canvas. And, you're, and with time, you know what you're going to get? You know what you're going to get with time, with that new bag, with that zipper squishing it. You're going to get this. The zipper is going to push onto this there, right there. Along the entire line of the canvas, you're going to get that bent, that dent, which is going to be that zipper that's going to be pressing into the bag if you stuff it. <coughs> Pardon me. And yes, I know people are writing in the comments like, oh my gosh, I remember when I got this bag like seven, eight years ago for like $200, $300, $400. It was around $290, $290 back in the day. Now we're up to $1,520.
Well, Mr. Bernard Arnault, the owner of LVMH, who is the second richest man in the world after Elon Musk as of 2023, um, richest man in Europe. I guess he's not rich enough. I guess he needs more money because he's charging even more for this stuff. So, will you be buying this new pochette accessoires or not? If yes, let me know why. If not, let me know why down below. Love you loads. Thumb up the video. Subscribe if you've liked it. And never give up on love. Love you loads. Bye. Mwah.